Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to register a new battery once you've changed your battery in your BMW car. Right, so there I've opened the OBD port and there you can see the uh, USB to OBD connection. And here's my laptop. And on the laptop side I have various BMW software which I will now show you doing the screen record. Right, so I have Inper installed. I'm going to load it. There we go. Inper is now updating. And you can see it says battery on, ignition is off. That's correct. Uh, you should have your car in the auxiliary position. So you must switch your, uh, your um, car should be showing the icons. Your entertainment system should be on. Right, so I've now just done that. Then what you do is you choose the model of your car. In my case, it happens to be an E65. Now for the battery, you will go to body and then you will scroll down on the right hand side here and then you will look for um, power module. There it is. All right, just clear those errors. Now you can see there's F6. It says activate. I'm going to do that. Now you've got F1 and F2. I'm going to F2, there we go, and then you can see it says the register battery replacement. So that's it. If you are uh, going to replace your battery like I've done, then you just press that and it now registers the battery replacement. Now very important is if you are changing the battery, make sure you change with the same battery. If you had an 80 amp hour battery and now you are using a 90 amp hour battery, you will need to tell your uh, power module that because of it will uh, because of the way it behaves in terms of its charging cycle and the measurements it takes. I do have a video explaining how to get that information and how to change that coding. But if you are changing the exact same battery with another of the same capacity, then you're done. See, now you're done. And you can just uh, uh, go back now. And while you're here, it's never a bad idea just to uh, clear some errors. And if you do want to, you can just go and say read error memory. And you can see that my car is only sitting with one error. And that's it. So if you on your car, you might have a lot of uh, errors. You can just say clear memory. All right. So that's it. So that's how you register your battery. If you want to see how to do the coding, please watch my other videos. Hope this video is informative and thanks for watching.